now on WRDE Coast TV. Grab the umbrella out the door this morning as we're seeing a few showers out there. And that will be the case all day today. Conditions improve for the weekend. I'll have your full forecast coming up. Breaking story overnight, Hooper's Crab House. There was a fire there, the response by crews in Ocean City to this popular restaurant. Biden is leaving the beach, the president preparing to leave his North Shore's home, but not the state of Delaware yet. Royal Farms debate, another business proposing to be built in our area with the expected pushback by people living in the area. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News Today. Your morning news starts right now. Welcome to our 6 o'clock hour. It's Friday, August 4th, 2023. Good morning. I'm Matt Pensick. Paige, Good morning. it is Friday. I know, it is Friday. Happy Friday. I'm Paige Marley. First Friday in August. Mm -hmm. And you know, Paige, some consider this the final month of summer. I think, and Bob's going to correct me in just a minute if I'm wrong, it's the last meteorological Ooh, month yes. of summer. That means fall is next month. Plays. Thank you. Thanks, hey. Wow. Thanks, Bob. I'm impressed, Paige. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> it's the last month of meteorological summer, August, and then we get into September and meteorological fall starts. But first things first, we've got some clouds out there this morning and a few showers. Looks like trying to move into Laurel and Westwoods right now. More showers back through Salisbury into Ocean City, down into Chincoteague, and even heavier rain, southern tip of Delmarva into the Norfolk area in eastern North Carolina. So this is where the heaviest batch is. Looks like missing us to the south, but I think we'll still see some hit and miss showers. Out the door, we're looking at temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, and the winds are light right now. Now we're going to see a lot of clouds today, more clouds and rain, but we'll see the intermittent showers and that will keep us in the 70s. Look at 330, uh, maybe Milton 80, but the rest of us pretty much in the 70s, maybe brief clearing this evening. So uh, make sure you have decent wiper blades, cloudy with showers out the door, the yellow light there for the morning commute and heading home cloudy and still some showers. We have some breaking news from overnight. As you saw on the Coast TV News app, crews battled a fire at the popular Hooper's Crab House in Ocean City. Take a look at this. We have some pictures to show you from the Ocean City Fire Department. The fire department responded to the restaurant on Route 50 just after 7.30 last night. Some reports state the fire started in the kitchen. How much damage occurred is not known at this time. The Worcester County Fire Marshal is still attempting to determine the cause of that fire. On its Facebook page, Hooper's Crab House said the restaurant and the waterfront Sneaky Pete's will be closed until further notice. Happening this morning, President Biden is preparing to leave his North Shore's home and end his week-long stay along our coast. According to the White House press office, the president and first lady are expected to leave the Gordon's Pond parking lot on Marine One at 845 this morning. From there, they will fly to the Delaware Air National Guard Base in Newcastle County. Biden's itinerary shows they will spend the remainder of the weekend at their home in the Wilmington area. Also new this morning, it's been a long time coming, but directors for Georgetown's Pallet Village say it is finally ready for a ribbon cutting. You can see on your screen some of the beautiful, colorful homes that stand today. The ribbon cutting will take place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And during that event, there will also be a tour and a luncheon. An update on an environmental legislation that's been passed this year by the Delaware General Assembly on Thursday, Governor John Carney signed several of those into law. One of them lays out the targets to reduce net emissions by 50% by 2030 and 100% by 2050. Others set targets for purchasing electric school buses, ensuring large commercial buildings are equipped for solar installation. Another expands the electric vehicle rebate program. And to learn more about these, you can go to our article on WRDE.com. And Governor Carney has sworn into the Advisory Council on the Historic Preservation yesterday. President Biden appointed Carney to the ACHP for a term ending in June of 2025. Carney is the go first governor member of the ACHP and the first governor to serve on the council since 2010. All right, some cool video to show you. SpaceX launched the Intelsat G37 satellite into orbit Thursday morning. You see it right there, a Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This was around 1 a.m. Intelsat says the new Maxar-built satellite, which will expand television and Internet access across North America, is part of the company's comprehensive plan to refresh its galaxy fleet. Got another story involving a proposed business and some people expressing opposition. 
The Sussex Preservation Coalition is pushing back against the new Royal Farms that's been proposed at the Angola Road Route 24 intersection. This is in the northeast of Long Neck area. In 2019, there was a plan of a 7-Eleven being put on that same site. That was voted down by the Sussex County Council. The next step on this development project is the Planning and Zoning Committee. It will have a first public hearing on the plan for the development, and that will be sometime in the fall. The Indian River Bay is dealing with a sewage spill. Dynarac saying the spill originated in a pump from Millsboro. The agency is halting the recreational harvest of clams for the next 21 days due to concerns of contamination. People at the bay just yesterday said it is a shame to see this happening. Denrick is asking people to avoid swimming while restrictions are in place. The agency does say, however, there is no more sewage spilling into the water. Well, former President Trump back at his New Jersey home after being arraigned and arrested in the nation's capital on Thursday. Trump pleaded not guilty to multiple felonies, all related to efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election results. NBC's Bree Jackson shows us what happened in court yesterday and what's next for the former president. Former President Donald Trump pleading not guilty to charges related to efforts to overturn 2020 election results. This was never supposed to happen in America. Trump stood before the judge facing four criminal counts, including conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government and conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding. Prosecutors argue he schemed to keep himself in power after losing the 2020 election. The current GOP frontrunner claims, without evidence, that the case is an effort to interfere with his chances of winning the 2024 presidential race. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. Some of the officers who defended the U.S. Capitol on January 6 attended Thursday's arraignment. Most of the uh, witnesses that have been corroborating uh, all these uh, action or inaction on that he did or didn't do uh, had been Republican themselves. Republican candidates are weighing in. I do think that on this same set of facts, anyone not named Trump would not have been indicted. It also reflects the, the seriousness of the issue the voters have to face in 2024. Voters are divided. For them to nitpick him to death is a crime against our country. I would like to see my party um, open their eyes to see what's going on, to cut ties with him and move forward with other candidates. If convicted, the charges could lead to a lengthy prison sentence for the former president. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. All former President Trump has been hit with 78 felony counts in three separate cases. Starting Monday, you can get current results of the 50th annual White Marlin Open Fishing Tournament on Coast TV News. We will show you the competition in all of our broadcasts, and you can also stream the coverage on our mobile app. I'm looking forward to it. We still have more news to get to this morning on Coast TV News Today. Coming up, port news if the Woodland Ferry is part of your drive, why it is currently closed, when you can expect it to be back open. Also, mail mishaps, how missing mail has led to one man losing hundreds of dollars. And Maryland State Police making an arrest in a murder case in Salisbury. That and more when Coast TV News Today continues. Today at 4 on Coastlight, learn about a special movie screening for a Parkinson's fundraiser. We spotlight a free drive through vaccine clinic for your pets. Plus, get a sneak peek at the White Marlin Open in Ocean City. Coast Life today at 4 on Coast TV. Whether it's a natural disaster or just everyday life's mishaps, Royal Plus brings calm to the chaos. In disaster's wake, there's one call to make. Royal Plus. I'm better. Are you having any fun? Are you loving where you're living? Are you having any fun?
we can help you with that. My brother and I have been on construction sites since a very young age, helping our father, learning construction and carpentry, even rebuilding wooden boats, shaping and bending the wood, focusing on every detail, building it the right way. Our dad showed us the importance of craftsmanship and the difference it makes. Growlick Builders uses the same attention to detail that our father used when he worked on his projects, shaping your vision into a home. We're a family of builders, Growlick Builders, homes built with honor. Six eleven on this cloudy Friday morning. Of course, our Tyndall's Casual Furniture Cam has some elevation, so we're looking through the clouds towards the ground, and maybe a few sprinkles out there. Sixty-eight in Laurel right now. Millsboro sixty-nine. Bethany Beach sixty-nine. So it's a milder start to the day. We've got a few showers starting to build into Delaware. Very light, but they're a little heavier as you go south across Delmarva. Salisbury seeing some showers. Snow Hill and even Cambridge, and we'll be seeing some of these showers as we go through the day. And once again, some of that heavier rain is farther to the south. Today's checklist, you need the umbrella and the raincoat. Flip-flops are good, like clothing. I think you can hold off on the sunglasses and the sunscreen because of the cloud. This morning, a 20-year-old Seaford man facing several felony charges related to a string of burglaries. According to Delaware State Police, Damian Bosman was identified as a suspect in this. He was already in custody at the Department of Corrections at the Sussex County violation of probation center when these new charges came in, including three felonies. Earlier this week, 18-year-old Ryan Halliseyford was arrested for his role in this case. According to state police, eight victims on six different properties were part of these crimes. A man has been arrested for the murder in Salisbury that took place last Monday, according to Maryland State Police. Authorities say 19-year-old Bashiri Jacobs shot a 34-year-old man in the front of Pemberton Manor Apartments. You can see the location of this in the video from our Coast Copter. State police say Jacobs was charged with both first-degree and second-degree murder, among several other charges. And according to troopers, he is being held without bond. Americans are traveling abroad this summer, and they don't seem to mind that it's putting quite a dent in their pockets. The average cost for a flight to Europe, get this, $1,200. According to a travel booking app, that's the highest price it's been in the last six years. That hefty price tag is not stopping Americans, though, from flocking to their favorite European destinations. These popular ones including London, Paris, Rome, and Dublin. The demand for international travel has been so high that the three major U.S. international airlines, American, Delta, and United, have all seen a surge. And it seems that people are no longer flocking to use threads. That's Meta's Twitter rival. New data from market research firms show the company is struggling to keep users. The data says Thread's daily active user count is down 82% from its launch as of Monday. The report says just 8 million users are accessing the app each day. It's the lowest it's been since the day after it was released. At that time, daily active users peaked at roughly 44 million. But it seems now people are barely opening the app and only spending about two minutes on it when they do. Still ahead, one man is out of hundreds of dollars. This is due to missing mail in Lewis, a problem others in the area say they've experienced there as well. And as you can tell in our tunnel and razor cam, lots of clouds to start our Friday. We'll see occasional showers throughout the day, but improving weather for the upcoming weekend. We will increase the heat and humidity as well. I'll track it hour by hour on Futurecast coming up next. Telemundo presents the most ambitious reality show in Hispanic television history. Los Cincuenta, The Lion is King. Este es mi reto as 50 celebrities compete for $350,000. Drama, rivalries, alliances. Are all just part of the fun. Who will be the last one standing? Los 50, Monday through Friday, only on Telemundo. 
Taylor Oil Company leads a family of services offering energy solutions to Delmarva since 1927. Summer heat can be taxing on cooling systems. Now is the time to look into savings offered by the latest energy efficient heat pumps and air conditioning systems. DT Travis can recommend the best solution for your needs with just the right system for your home or business. The Taylor Oil Family of Services. One number for all your energy needs. Call 410-749-2151. Day or night, our service never sleeps. Hey, fellas. When your lady says she wants a big rock for Christmas, she may not mean this kind. She may want this kind. At That Granite Place, we like to say our reputation is carved in stone. And it is. Now we're changing our name to Coastal Countertops. Same local ownership, keeping the same level of quality and service everyone has grown to love. We've also upgraded our machinery to help you with turnaround times. At Coastal Countertops, our reputation will continue to be carved in stone. If you have a mosquito problem in your yard, call the professionals at Bennett Termite. At Bennett Termite, we use vehicle mounted power rigs versus backpacks. The Bennett Termite difference is to effectively eradicate your mosquito problem with better application and more coverage. How? Bennett Termite technicians use quality equipment and the proper amount of treatment for your entire yard. Trust the company that is there for you. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. We're coast country and we're Delmarva proud. It is 616 this morning on this beautiful Friday morning. Kind of a joke there, not really. <laughs> That's a I was, wow, I was wondering where you were going with that I one. was trying to be optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw Lewis. That was a live look at Lewis, and it's just not the sun, yeah. the yellow and pink skies we were hoping for. The beauty's in the eye of the beholder, and I guess you're a glass half full type of person. Trying to be. Trying to be. If you like that ominous kind of look. Yeah, yeah I paid you beautiful. very optimistic. Mm-hmm. Did I say that right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, it is uh, pretty cloudy out there this morning, but it is Friday, so that's a good reason to be optimistic for sure. And we're seeing a few showers popping up. You can track these showers by scanning the QR code. That will get you to the Coast TV weather app. Here's Millsboro, and you're seeing maybe a light shower south of Frankfurt, a little farther west in Millsboro. Delmar, some light showers. Whaleyville, back through Salisbury as well. Wango seeing some showers. Newark uh, near Snow Hill as well. Some light Light showers here, a little heavier as you work your way farther to the south. If you're headed towards Chincoteague, Cape Charles, back into the Norfolk area, that's where the bulk of the heavy rain is across Virginia and the southern tip of Delmarva. Right now, back into areas of northeast North Carolina around Elizabeth City, seeing some showers there as we have low pressure in western North Carolina. And this is where our corridor of steady rain is just off to our south. And with the clouds today and some of those showers, our temperatures well below average. Average high 87, well below that. It was 78 today, but we do warm it up with the humidity this weekend and more sunshine mid to upper 80s and there's 90 back on Monday. We knew we couldn't keep them away forever and then 89 on Tuesday. We're looking at temperatures into the mid to upper 60s right now and so pretty mild out the door and very light southerly wind. So we're looking at a lot of clouds today with hit and miss showers. I don't think anything especially heavy. It's just going to be kind of a gloomy day and it will be cooler by mid afternoon. Most of us in the 70s if you get into some sun, maybe you'll get into the 80s. And then we could see a thunderstorm as we go into, say, after 4 o'clock this evening and still have that raincoat handy if you're out and about having dinner this evening. We could clear it out for a time tonight. One last gas of showers maybe very late tonight. And then as we go into Saturday morning, maybe a little bit of fog. And then we'll see some sun. I think we'll see some clouds, too. And it warms up mid to upper 80s, inland 70s along the coast. And then on Sunday, I think it's going to be a good-looking day after a mild start looking at 80s inland and 70s along the coast. As far as rain goes, maybe up to a six-tenths of an inch farther south with about a quarter to three-tenths um, a little bit farther to the north. And the winds are out of the south, and we will be increasing the humidity with time. And here's your Paul Davis seven-day forecast. 78 today with the showers, 86 on Saturday with partly cloudy skies, 87 Sunday, feeling a little warmer with the humidity, 90 on Monday with hit and miss showers and storms. And then we're looking at upper 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week with a mixture of sun and clouds. Thanks, Bob. A reminder, you can hear Coast TV news and weather updates throughout the day on our family of radio stations, and we just happen to put them on the screen for you there. Coast Country 103.9, 106.3 FM, 93.5 The Beach, Big 107.7. Mail mishaps. One Lewis man's finding himself short hundreds of dollars after a problem with the Lewis Post Office. 
It's a missing mail problem that others in the area have experienced as well. Coast TV reporter Tori Seagraves shows us what went wrong and what solutions the United States Postal Service is proposing. Al Saibar checks his mail at this P.O. box in the Vineyard's apartment complex. He says when he recently received a card from family, it had been cut open and taped shut. Seibart says after contacting the family member who sent the card, he learned a $300 gift card inside had been removed. It's very disillusioning. Um, you know, to me, the Postal Service was like a utility. It's, it's like a switch. You turn the switch, the light comes on. You turn the faucet on, water comes out. You put something in the mail and it eventually will get to where it's supposed to be. You know, we've all heard of porch pirates. Unfortunately, these are guys working on the inside who take your things before it even reaches your porch. We did reach out to the Lewis Post Office about this incident and many other cases of missing and delayed mail that were brought to Coast TV's attention. They declined to interview, but say, quote, the Postal Service recognizes timely and accurate deliveries are paramount to our customers, and we remain committed to providing the service they expect. Some say they think missing mail is an honest mistake. Occasionally, somebody might, a clerk may put the wrong envelope in the wrong box, and it, sometimes it may be a week, and sometimes it could be if it's a seasonal box holder that has that mail, could be several months, but nothing major and nothing certainly deliberate. Cyber just hopes stories like his don't happen again. And he was just paying this back out of the kindness of his heart, and to have this happen is uh, very, very unfortunate. The USPS recommends that if you have any concerns of issues with your mail, to sign up for informed delivery. It's a feature that they offer where you can track and manage your mail and packages. I'm Tori Seagraves in Lewis, Coast TV News. After the break, you may need alternative travel plans for the next few days. The Woodland Ferry currently closed when you can expect it to be back in operation. Peaches, Paul's, and Parkinson's awareness. I'm Mallory Messner. Coming up, I'll show you all the cool things to do this weekend. Window World, the nation's number one replacement window company, also specializes in siding and doors, too. Save $500 off a whole house of vinyl siding, many styles and colors to choose. Save $200 off entry doors, plus get a free storm door. 0% financing for 18 months available. Superior products, professionally installed at a guaranteed low price. No matter the size of the project, you can trust Window World of Delmarva to get it done right. Call now for a free estimate today. WRDE Weather brought to you by Window World of Delmarva, simply the best for less. Farmers Bank of Willards and Delmarva Sports Network want to congratulate this year's Scholar Athlete Award winners. We are incredibly proud of your work on and off the field. These awards are made possible by Farmers Bank of Willards. Athletic excellence and academic excellence can be married together in a way that makes this community a better place. We love supporting the local schools, the local athletes. They are our future, so that's why we wanted to participate in the program. Good luck in your next chapters, future leaders. Are you troubled by strange smells, uncomfortable rooms, or mold in your home? Do you experience feelings of dread when you enter your crawl space or attic? Does your home suffer from slopes, sags, or other structural concerns? If the answer is yes, pick up your phone and call the home performance professionals like FLC Energy. Don't just treat the systems in your house. Treat your house as the system and call FLC. We're ready to believe you. It's always a good time to protect and improve your home's value. At Pinnacle Concrete Coatings, our highly trained experts are dedicated to creating beautiful, durable floors at a fair, honest price. And most jobs are completed in just one day. Our multi-step process uses heavy-duty, high-precision equipment to create gorgeous floors that stand the test of time. Four times stronger than epoxy and resistant to abrasions, chemicals, and UV damage. And all residential applications are backed by a lifetime warranty. Call to schedule your free estimate. Pinnacle Concrete Coatings. Because quality matters. The Dots, classic hits from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Cool. Relax. Get it. All night long. The Duck on 107.1, 105.1, and 104.3. The station where you know the words to every song. Download the free WRDE weather app. Built by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodel. 
Middlesbrough Chamber of Commerce is hosting a back to school supply drive. The drive will be hosted from August 14th through the 28th and donation bins will be located at 203 Main Street in downtown Millsboro. The Woodland Ferry currently closed for repairs. The Woodland Ferry will reportedly reopen August 8th. That's assuming all repairs go as planned. Drivers are advised to check the Dell Dot website for more traffic updates. Delaware ticks are on the rise. Experts warn that if the trend continues, certain conditions may persist. Coast TV meteorologist Janeka Ayoto sheds light on the contributing factors to this surge, and she has tips to protect us from dangerous tick bites. Delaware State Parks are a great place to spend the day surrounded by nature, but hikers have to remain vigilant of pests, especially ticks. Jeffrey Lee, visiting with his family from Arlington, Virginia, had a close encounter. One of my sons recently had a tick bite and started developing a rash with a ring around it and we had to take him to the pediatrician and get him on antibiotics. To avoid tick bites, use insect repellent on your skin and clothes. Stay away from tall grass and stick to the center of main trails during outdoor activities. One thing that may be responsible for the uptick in ticks that we've seen this season is the mild winter that we had along with the warm summer that we're experiencing. A hard winter can help to suppress tick numbers and unfortunately our, our winters are skewing towards the more milder and, and shorter variety these past few years and so uh, the, the tick population doesn't really take as big a hit as it would have in the past. More ticks means more danger and more reason to take extra precautions. Learning from that experience, we're definitely cautious around uh, looking for ticks when we're um, going outside or, or coming in from the trail. You don't have to stop enjoying the outdoors, but following simple rules can help keep you and your family safe. In Cape Henlopen State Park, I'm meteorologist Jeanette Gallardo, Coast TV News. And Dr. Kennedy advises if you are bit by a tick, remove it immediately and then keep it in your freezer so you can identify the species you can learn more about that on our article on WRDE.com. Okay, you know what I'm thinking, Paige, what? with the cloud cover today, I'm thinking SPF zero. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what Bob has to say. Yeah, I see, see that big grin on Matt's face. Doesn't have to use the sunscreen too much today. Our UV index brought to us by Face of Grace, a practice in sun safety. And look at this. We only have a two today. That's the lowest number we've ever had. Uh, but then it's an eight and a nine as we go into the weekend, very high. And then it's back down to a five on Monday and then back to very high. So anytime you're very high with the UV index, you want to make sure you have the higher SPF. Find the midday shade limit time outdoors and avoid the sun late morning into early afternoon. That sun will increase into the weekend. I'll have more on your weekend forecast coming up. And then we are kicking off the first weekend of a brand new month. Yes, in celebration, Coast TV News reporter Mallory Metzner shows us the cool things to do this weekend. From family-friendly fun to fundraisers for heartwarming causes, there's something to do for everyone this weekend, even your pets. The Berlin Peach Festival is about to blossom. The 15th annual festival takes place from 10 to 3 Saturday at the Calvin B. Taylor House Museum. There will be cooking demos, a pie eating contest, food games, and more. Michael J. Fox's 2023 documentary, Still, will be screened at the Rehoboth Beach Film Society Cinema Art Theater in Lewis at 7 p.m. Saturday and at 2 p.m. Sunday. The film documents what it's like learning to live with Parkinson's disease. Ticket sales will benefit the Parkinson's Education and Support Group of Sussex County. Another fun and charitable event benefits the Humane Animal Partners. Racers will take their mark on two legs and four at the Run for the Paws in Dewey Beach on Saturday morning. The 15th annual race starts at 7.30 a.m. at the Dewey Beach Lions Club. There's a 5K run and one-mile pet-friendly walk. The Rehoboth Art League's Outdoor Art Show is open this weekend and next. A taco festival is taking over the convention center in Ocean City on Saturday and Sunday. Karma Fest is back at Hudson Fields all weekend long with yoga, live music, drum circles, belly dancing, and you can even camp at this event. The Blessing of the Combine Saturday will celebrate local agriculture. The Southern Delaware Orchestra Summer Concert takes place Saturday night at Epworth. 
And don't forget about the Tomato Festival at the historic Lewis Farmers Market on Saturday. For a link to register for Run for the Paws or to buy tickets to see the Michael J. Fox documentary, go to our website and click on the Cool Things to Do tab. Brought to you by North Bay Marina, where boaters have the most fun. When it comes to your home, you need a local contractor you can trust and quality you can count on. Spicer Brothers is properly licensed in Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia, and we're here to help. Our team is committed to customer satisfaction, and we stand behind our work with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. Right now, finance your entire project with no interest and no payments until 2025. So, for all your exterior and bathroom remodeling needs, call the company you can trust. Spicer Brothers, we've got you covered. A summer to remember starts at Tyndall's Casual Furniture. Right now, during the Tyndall's Sizzling Summer Sales Event, enjoy huge savings on quality furniture with the season's biggest discounts. Shop the best value in largest selections of industry-leading manufacturers like Casual Comfort, Telescope Casual, Jensen Outdoor, and Northgate. So visit Tyndall's Casual Furniture in Laurel or Lewis and don't miss the Sizzling Summer Sales Event going on now. We can't wait to help you create the outdoor oasis you've always wanted. Tyndall's Casual Furniture, Delmarva's outdoor furniture experts. Performing out of space? Yes, next July. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, I can't change these plans. We're still in the sun next summer. Uh -huh. Heist of a lifetime. Uh, uh, but, but, Come on, you in? Uh, but... Roman Reigns will defend his title against anyone, anytime. Except next July. Kiss me all night. Now it is, but I believe that's how it ought to be. 103.9 and 106.3. We're local, we're coast country, and we're Del Marva proud. You're watching WRDE Coast TV, Del Marva's NBC station. From the beaches to the bay, coverage you can count on. WRDE Coast TV News Today. Your morning news starts right now. August 4th, 2023. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Pensick. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Matt. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Paige Marley. We are approaching 632 as we make our way on this Friday morning. Closer and closer to the weekend. That's right. We're bringing in first alert meteorologist Bob Trahi now. He's going to join us to help you prepare for your weekend and as you make your way out the door this morning. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Paige and Matt. You'll need the umbrella out the door. We're starting to see more activity on radar right now. A little bit of light shower activity around Millsboro, west of Ocean View, Westwoods, and Laurel and Seaford. You could be looking at light showers too. That extends towards the state line. Also into Maryland, around Pittsville, Salisbury. A few sprinkles around for you. And we're seeing more steady rain. If you're going down towards Cape Charles and then back into Norfolk and Williamsburg, that is is where we're looking at the heavy rain. Uh, the bridge uh, tunnel is certainly rainy and then into eastern North Carolina as well. So that's where the bulk of the heavier rain is. We're looking at temperatures this morning around 67 to 69 degrees. Lots of clouds today on and off showers through the morning into the afternoon. Most of us stay in the 70s today, maybe 80 if you see a little sunshine. Could see a few storms as we go into the evening. So take it slow out there. There will be some puddles cloudy with showers this morning on your morning commute. I gave with the yellow light, also yellow light for more clouds and showers and maybe a storm into this afternoon. Ready or not, the fall respiratory virus season is approaching. Major pharmacies in the U.S., they are already setting up flu and RSV vaccine appointments. Yeah, and there's another potential health threat that is once again looming over the nation. John Lawrence shows us how flu season could bring the rise of COVID cases, even though the pandemic has ended. The Department of Health and Human Services declared the end of the COVID-19 public health emergency on May 11th, but the virus itself never faded away. All regions of the country are showing increases in hospitalizations. Medical experts say one reason for this rise, many are avoiding the outdoors to beat the grueling summer heat. And when you're inside, the ventilation's different, people are closer together. Uh, so I think that's part of it. 
Numerous pharmacy chains, including CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens, say they'll have the new COVID-19 vaccines once they're authorized by the Food and Drug Administration and recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. The good news is we have um, much less COVID-19 being circulated, it looks like, and we certainly see much less consequential COVID-19. Pfizer officials say they expect to have a COVID shot ready for the public sometime next month. A lot of people haven't had a vaccine in a year. Well, what do we know about the vaccines? They're great for the first four months for every age group, and then they start to slack at six months. That's why health officials are advising people to prepare themselves for the fall by rolling up their sleeves. There's going to be a massive push across the United States to get your flu shot and to get your COVID vaccine updated. And then for the over 60, get that new RSV vaccine. I'm John Lawrence reporting. CDC has also signed off on new immunization to prevent RSV in all children under eight months old. We have some breaking news from overnight. Crews battled a fire at the popular Hooper's Crab House in Ocean City. These pictures right here, these are from the Ocean City Fire Department. The fire department responded to the restaurant on Route 50 just after 7.30 last night. Exactly how much damage occurred is not known at this time. The Worcester County Fire Marshal is still attempting to determine the cause of that fire. On its Facebook page, Hooper's Crab House said the restaurant and the waterfront Sneaky Pete's will both be closed until further notice. Happening this morning, President Biden preparing to leave his North Shore's home and end his weekend long stay along our coast. According to the White House press office, the President and First Lady, they're expected to leave the Gordon's Pond parking lot on Marine One. This will be around 845 this morning. And then they will fly to the Delaware Air National Guard Base in Newcastle County. Biden's itinerary shows they will spend the remainder of this weekend at their home in the Wilmington area. New this morning, it's been a long time coming, but directors for Georgetown's Pallet Village say it's finally ready for a ribbon cutting. You can see there some colorful homes that stand today. The ribbon cutting will take place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And during that event, there will also be a tour of those homes and a luncheon. SpaceX launched the Intelsat G37 satellite into orbit Thursday morning. A Falcon 9 rocket, now you see it right there, lifted off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. This was around 1 a.m. Intelsat says the new Maxar built satellite will expand television and internet access across North America. It's all part of the company's comprehensive plan to refresh its galaxy fleet. Got more news to get to in this final half hour. Don't go anywhere. Still ahead this morning, we have an update on the two Tennessee Democrats who were expelled after participating in a protest on gun control. What's next for the two men? And we have highlights from Purdue Stadium ahead of today's Jersey retirement for Ryan Miner. Who scored big and who fell short? And an appeals court says it will allow President Biden's asylum restrictions to continue for now. Why this could make it harder for migrants to be granted asylum in the U.S. according to the current restrictions. Stay with us on Coast TV News today. Today at 4 on Coastlight, learn about a special movie screening for a Parkinson's fundraiser. We spotlight a free drive through vaccine clinic for your pets. Plus, get a sneak peek at the White Marlin Open in Ocean City. Coast Life today at 4 on Coast TV. The latest and most up-to-date stories for your coastal community. Download the WRDE News app on your Apple or Android devices. Just search WRDE Coast TV. The WRDE Coast TV News app. Coverage you can count on. Middays with me, April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through your work day. She can play your favorite song. She can help you find your furry friend. The easiest way to get through your work day is with April. She really makes you feel special. Hey friends, hang out with me weekdays here on Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3 each day from 10 to 3. Windsor Tech Furniture Fenwick Island offers the world's best deep seating furniture. Sectionals. Buy any piece you want and design your own set, combining premium teak and 5 inch thick umbrella cushions with over 70 colors to choose from. Pull out sofa beds. A Windsor exclusive. Luxurious sun lounges. The ultimate in relaxation. Storage boxes for cushions, swivel chairs, and more. Drop by your showroom and smell the teak or visit our website. And remember, teak lasts a lifetime. 
The men and women working hard to make sure the games are fair. The unsung heroes of all sports. Thank you to all of the officials on Delmarva. Thank you for your positive impact on young athletes. Your service does not go unnoticed. If you're interested in becoming a sports official on Delmarva, go to delmarvasportsnetwork.com slash officials for more information. It is 6.39 on a cloudy Friday morning. Here's our dry tech cam showing the overcast skies in Ocean City. 70 degrees for you right now. And we are seeing some showers increasing across southern Delaware into northern Maryland right now. Laurel seeing some showers. Also seeing them back through Millsboro, westward Frankfurt towards Ocean View. Pittsville, Whaleyville, also near Wango in Maryland. We're seeing light showers, but heavier showers down near Cape Charles and back into the Norfolk area in Virginia. That's where we're seeing some of that heavier rain as we're watching watching low pressure moving through North Carolina. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s are face of grace UV index. They practice in safe sun. Really no issues today. This is the lowest number I've seen a two very low. But then we go into the high range, very high range Saturday and Sunday back to medium Monday and then back to very high as we go on into Tuesday. So when we're in that very high zone, you want the higher SPF, the midday shade, limit time outdoors and avoid the sun late morning into the afternoon. We'll see more of that sun for the weekend. I'll talk about it more in detail coming up. An appeals court says it will allow President Biden's asylum restrictions to continue for now. A panel of three judges from the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals voted two to one to put a temporary stay on a court ruling from last month that was slated to stop the asylum restrictions next week. The new ruling keeps the tough asylum policy in place while the legal challenge by several migrants advocacy groups continues. In May, the Biden administration put in place the new rules for asylum seekers that presume most migrants who illegally cross from Mexico are ineligible for asylum. The Delmarva Sports Network from the Wawa Studios. Happy Friday, sports fans, and happy Ryan Miner Jersey Retirement Day as well. Last night, Hillcats in town, tap of the first, Angel Janelle up to bat. There's a reason why he's the Guardians' number 10 prospect. First stone run of the season would give Lynchburg the early one to nothing lead. Janow just 19 years of age. To the top of the second we go. Bases loaded for Lynchburg. Mark Falia hits a deep shot to right. So we're going to stay in the ballpark, but it's plenty long enough for a sack fly. Teammate Jose Devers would come in to score, and Lynchburg takes the two to zip lead. Next play, runners on second and third. Lexer Shadui. Ground rule double. This one ripped deep to left. It's going to hop off the warning track dirt and over the fence. Both Juan Benjamin and Tyrese Turner in to score to make it 4-0. 30th ribby of the year for Lexer. Then it was Delmarva's turn for damage. One on Rolfi Cruz, a drive sinking in left center, gets past the outfielder and trickles to the wall. Shorebirds plays their first one and Rolfi is going to get greedy. Tries to take the turn for third, gun down, but the run would come across safely. Shorebirds start picking things up in the following inning. Wild pitch, that gets a run to come across, and now the runners move up to second and third. After that, a high chopper from Angel Tejada scores two more. That tied it up, but Hillcats would be too much as they win it 12 to 7. Tonight at Purdue, though, number 44 is retired for the former Oriole and Shorebirds manager. We'll have the story later tonight. That'll do it for sports. Hollywood isn't the only place actors and directors receive awards. International film festivals are announcing their latest honorees. David Daniel has that and more in today's Hollywood Minute. Two Oscar-winning filmmakers are set to be honored at this year's Toronto International Film Festival. Spike Lee will receive the TIFF Ebert Director Award and Pedro Almodovar will pick up the Jeff Skoll Award in Impact Media. The honors are scheduled to take place at the fifth annual TIFF Tribute Awards on September 10th. Do you want to be present mm -hmm. and, you know, really engaged with... Diane Kruger is getting her own honor, the GoldenEye Lifetime Achievement Award from the Zurich Film Festival. The actress has balanced smaller films with such big budget movies as National Treasure and Inglorious Bastards. She'll accept her award October 2nd and present her latest film, the French drama Visions. I've raced this track a thousand times in the game. Let me drive it my way. That was actually pretty great. Gran Turismo is shifting gears. The racing movie, based on a true story, is taking the track two weeks later than expected. Instead of August 11th, Gran Turismo will now open in wide release August 25th. Waving the green flag in Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. 
Still ahead, the saga ending for three Tennessee state legislators, Democrats who were expelled after being involved in a gun control protest that disrupted the state house. Grab the umbrella out the door. Kind of a gloomy start to our Friday. Hershey Exteriors Camp showing the overcast skies, but improving weather for the weekend. I'll have your full forecast after the break as Coast TV News continues. Telemundo presents the most ambitious reality show in Hispanic television history. Los Cincuenta, The Lion is King. Este es mi reto. As 50 celebrities compete for $350,000. Drama, rivalries, alliances. Si tú me buscas, me vas a encontrar. Tranquila, que si no, ahorita te tranquiliza, yeah, mami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are all just part of the fun. Who will be the last one standing? Los Cincuenta, Monday through Friday, only on Telemundo. Elevate your business and engage more customers with Draper Media. Our diverse network of media properties such as WBOC, WRDE, 93.5 The Beach, and 1025 WBOC reaches over a half a million Delmarva residents across various channels like television, radio, social media, and digital platforms. Enhance your brand's visibility across the Delmarva region with Draper Media. Our passionate team of media specialists and content creators are dedicated to showcasing your brand through engaging commercials, dynamic drone footage, eye-catching graphic and web design, and social media branding. Share your brand's story on our popular programs, capturing the attention of your target audience. Trust your brand with Draper Media, a family-oriented company serving the Delmarva community. Contact Frank Hamilton today at fhamilton at wboc.com to get started. Summertime, summertime. No, no, honey, I'm good. I could have another, but I probably should not. When I met you in the summer. Sunkiss Summer Mixtape on 102.5 WBOC. Brought to you by Bass by Spicer Brothers. It is 646 on this Friday morning. That's a live look at Ocean City on our Gateway Subaru Cam. Yeah, real cloudy there in Ocean City. Probably not the best day to hang out on the beach, but maybe going for a walk. I think there's some morning. people walking out there now. Looks like it. Yeah, you know, I was hoping to use the fire pit tonight. Mm -hmm. But I might have to t continue to check my Coast TV news app that I have here because in the afternoon, well, the evening hours when it's fire pit time, I feel a little iffy if you look at the hour by hour thing. Yeah, yeah iffy is a good word, not a meteorological term, but certainly a good term to use today, guys, because, yeah, it is kind of an iffy weather day. Make sure you scan the QR code to uh, download the Coast TV weather app. And clouds and radar showing some of these showers blossoming across the area now, moving from Maryland into Delaware right now. Seaford seeing some showers back through Laurel, Georgetown, Millsboro, uh, down 113 to Frankfurt, Selby. Ocean view as well, seeing some light showers too, and also seeing that back into Maryland around Pittsville, uh, back along Route 50 to Ocean Pines and Golf Club Shores, seeing some light showers there. Heavier rain farther down the peninsula, down into the southern part of the Delmarva, and some heavier showers around Norfolk right now and back into areas of eastern North Carolina as low pressure is developing there. That continues to move to the east. I think we'll see the heaviest of the rain moving to our south today, but we'll get into some of those showers because of the clouds and the showers 78 today. That's the high. Very cool. Average high is 87. We'll get there this weekend by Sunday as we warm to the mid to upper 80s. 90 by Monday back to 89 on Tuesday as the heat and humidity returns as we go through the weekend into next week. 67 in Georgetown right now. Redden 67. 69 in Bethany Beach. 69 into Rehoboth Beach right now. And we're looking at southerly winds that are pretty light. And we're looking at the clouds and We've got the scattered showers and we'll be looking at temperatures stuck in the 70s all day. If you get into a little sunshine, maybe 80s, but we have the showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm into this evening. So if you're headed out for Friday evening dinner or what have you, uh, heading out to the theater, do watch out for some showers. We do clear it out late tonight and then moving into Saturday. Here's Saturday morning, seeing 70s and then mid to upper 80s by the afternoon with sunshine and maybe a little bit of fog heading into Sunday morning. Otherwise, Sunday looks 
looking like a good looking day, but warm and muggy with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s. You can see higher rainfall amounts the farther south you go. And in Delaware, maybe up to about two tenths of an inch of rain as we see southerly winds, not too heavy, and then they'll become variable on Saturday. All in all, we're looking pretty mild and muggy as we go through time. And here's our muggy meter. Uh, you can see we're pretty humid through the weekend. We get a little break Tuesday, but then it's back to more of the humidity as we go through next week. Your Paul Davis seven day forecast 78 today with the showers mid to upper 80s for the weekend. Maybe some storms by Monday, hot and humid up around 90 and then in the upper 80s Tuesday through Thursday with a mix of sun and clouds. All right, thanks, Bob. Both expelled members of the Tennessee legislature have won back their state house seats. Representative Justin Jones and Justin Pearson reclaimed their legislative seats Thursday after they were expelled for taking part of a near riot on the House floor earlier this year. This came in the wake of a shooting in Nashville that took place at a private Christian school where three children and three adults were killed. They defeated their Republican opponents in districts that do lean Democrat. It's 6.50 this morning. It's time to check in with our Coastal Pet of the Day, brought to you by Maggie's Pet Boutique. And this week's Pet of the Day is Starly. Just look at that smile. That should brighten anyone's mm -hmm. day. This sweetheart is available for adoption through the Brandywine Valley SPCA. Her favorite activities, napping, check, bird watching, yes. Fun. If you can't get enough of that grin, you can go meet Smarly at the Georgetown location today. Okay, you said earlier Starly and Marley. Yes. And I just feel like it's meant to be a little bit. I think you need to do I it. Stop <laughs> doing it. Do okay. it. Do it. <laughs> You're a bad influence. All right, send us photos of your pets. <laughs> Tell us what makes them so special. It can be anything a dog, cat, bird, bunny, whatever. You know, someone here does call me BI, bad influence. <laughs> Email us at content at wrde.com. Then watch weekdays from 5 to 7 a.m. to see all the pets we feature. Hey, don't forget. This weekend, Sunday, as a matter of fact, uh, you can check out our Facebook page, and that way you can see all the pets we will feature for the next week. We're ending the week with lots of clouds. You can see that on our tunnel and a razor cam and grab the umbrella out the door, too. We do have some showers, but improving weather for the weekend. I'll have your 10-day forecast after the break as Coast TV News continues. Born in the stars, formed in the earth, shaped by designers around the world, and curated by Kalsa Jewelers in Lewis. Paul Chen, also known as Sunder Kalsa, is a meditation and yoga master as well as the owner of Kalsa Jewelers. We are Kalsa Jewelers, offer signature pieces that represent the beauty, the love, and also the celebration of our life. Find your peace in historic Lewis, Rehoboth Beach, Instagram, and Facebook. When it comes to your home, you need a local contractor you can trust and quality you can count on. Spicer Brothers is properly licensed in Maryland, Delaware, and Virginia, and we're here to help. Our team is committed to customer satisfaction and we stand behind our work with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. Right now, finance your entire project with no interest and no payments until 2025. So for all your exterior and bathroom remodeling needs, call the company you can trust. Spicer Brothers, we've got you covered. Solo Cup Saturday night. It's an alternative country party with me, Jared. Saturdays at 7 on Coast Country, 103.9 and Classic Rock, Big 1077.
6.54 a.m. It's time now for some things you need to know before you go. Crews battled a fire at the popular Hooper's Crab House in Ocean City. The Ocean City Fire Department responded to the restaurant on Route 50 just around 7.30 last night. Reports say that the fire started in the kitchen. The Worcester County Fire Marshal is still attempting to determine the cause of that fire. On its Facebook page, Hooper's Crab House said the restaurant and the waterfront Sneaky Pete's will both be closed until further notice. President Biden preparing to leave his North Shore's home and end his week-long stay along our coast today. Uh, according to the White House press office, the president and first lady are expected to leave the Gordons Pond parking lot on Marine One at 8.45 this morning and then fly to the Delaware Air National Guard Base in Newcastle County. Biden's itinerary shows they will spend the remainder of this weekend at their home in the Wilmington area. It's been a long time coming, but directors for Georgetown's Pallet Village say it's finally ready for a ribbon cutting. You saw on your screen some beautiful, colorful homes that are standing today. The ribbon cutting will take place from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. During that event, there will also be a tour of those colorful homes and a luncheon. The Sussex Preservation Coalition pushing back against the new Royal Farms. It's been proposed at the Angola Road Route 24 intersection. That is in the northeast Long Neck area. In uh, 2019, there was a plan of a 7-Eleven being put on that same site. That was voted down by Sussex County Council. The next step of this development plan is the Planning and Zoning Committee. They will have a first public hearing on this for the development. That will be sometime in the fall. All right, here's a fun fact for you. Chocolate chip cookies were an accident. They were. What? Surprise. Delicious accident. The best accident. That's good to know because... Yeah. August 4th is National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. Oh. Hey, you need to get me one. I would have made you cookies if oh, I had known. That's oh, too no. bad. I know. Also, back in 1937, uh, we have Graves. That's the woman who invented them. She was busy in the kitchen of her hotel. She and her husband owned the Toll House Inn. Ah, See where I'm going. Uh -huh. Yeah, she planned to mix Baker's chocolate into the dough. She didn't have any, so she used semi-sweet chocolate chips instead thinking it would actually melt out evenly throughout the dough, try to make a chocolate cookie. Okay, so yeah. as you know, it didn't, the most perfectly drool-worthy, <laughs> uh, it's still a great-looking cookie. So bake some up or just go and buy them or have Paige make them for you yeah. and chow down the classic cookie. They are my favorite chocolate I, chip cookies. so sad. Okay, Monday, because you know I like to make chocolate chip cookies. I'll do it. Okay, I'll, I got you. <laughs> Come on by, everybody, to, All the, right. <laughs> to Milton. All right, it's 6.56 <laughs> now. Not too many of you. It's time for a quick look at yeah. the forecast before you head out the door. All right, one final check with First Alert Meteorologist Bob Trihe. And what goes better with chocolate chip cookies than an ice-cold glass of milk? Maybe a good thing to have today. We've got the rain. Look at this. Seaford back through Millsboro, Lake Pines, Westwoods, Frankfurt, Selbyville. You've got the showers. Those extend farther to the south into Berlin around Ocean Pines. So grab the umbrella out the door. We're looking at a cloudy day, some showers, and maybe some thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon as well. Your exclusive Paul Davis 10-day forecast, only 78 with the rain today. But then we warm it up into the mid to upper 80s for the weekend. 90s are back on Monday where they don't stay away forever. Maybe a few storms. And then it's warm and muggy for the rest of next week and kind of hot again. And maybe the storms return by Friday and into next weekend as well with temperatures in the upper 80s. Thank you and thank you for joining us on Coast TV News today. And the Today Show is coming up next at 7 a.m. Don't forget, we'll be back with Coast TV Midday. That's at 11, so stay right here. And for even more news and coverage you can count on, you can download our Coast TV News and Weather apps. Have a great Friday morning and weekend, everybody.